Namaste. Welcome to our channel, Three Sisters, Three Stitchers. I'm Kathleen, sister number three, and I thought I would just make a short video and show you what uh, what we've been up to in the last couple of weeks. Um, so I took a drive over to sister number two's house, Virginia, who lives in Michigan, and I brought her a quilt design that I purchased for herself and myself and thought we'd spend a week or so quilting it together. So I drove over to visit her and we spent a week or so, two weeks actually, I think I was there. And I have a short video of us downstairs in her basement, her sewing area, quilting. And I will show you that video. I'll add it into this. And basically what we did was uh, we quilted this design. It's called Summer Solstice and it's Morning Glory Designs Reese Hansen. And it's Stonehenge. It's Northcott Fabrics Stonehenge Collection. And you uh, cut it all into strips and you applique and sew it together. And I'll tell you more about that later. So uh, while I was there, um, we also went shopping, did a little bit of haul. I'll show you that. And uh, I have one finish, so I'll show you that finish also. So I'll put the uh, quilting video in now, and then I'll come back and I'll show you some of our haul and uh, tell you more about what we were up to. All right, see you in a bit. show you uh, the finished top panel of the quilt and I'll show you the backing. So this is basically the top panel with the uh, applique put on and then as you can see the design is that you cut all these long pieces off of the panel and then you kind of alternate them up or down to create this this montage type look. So if I move back, you might be able to see more. So it goes all the way down to the design of Stonehenge. So 
So all I have to do now is basically put the batting on, um, the backing, and uh, just quilt it with some simple design and then do the, uh, the binding on it. And this is going to be the backing. It's another one of the Northcott Stonehenge designs, and it's just the gradient coloring panel, which just goes from these creams to these blues. So that's going to be the backing. And from the leftovers of this panel, you were able to create a small design. I have it. Here is the small. So this is with the leftover strips. You are able to do a small design for a wall hanging or a lap quilt or something. I still have to put the applique on the top of it. So uh, that's where I am with the quilt. So hopefully I get it done soon, shortly, <laughs> soon. It's a lot of work for me, so that's it. Okay, I'm back. So uh, you saw our little quilting retreat that we had together. And uh, what we did after that was I was going to drive back to New York. And my sister didn't want me driving back by myself. So she said, oh, I'll come with you. And then I'll just fly back to Michigan. And I said, well, if you're going to come with me, then we're going to go do some sightseeing. So we drove from Michigan, Ohio, into Pennsylvania. We stayed in Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania, which is one of my favorite places. And we spent a day going to the uh, Amish fabric stores and um, some time at the Country Kettle Kitchen, I believe it's called, the Amish Market. And there are no cross-stitch stores in Bird in Hand. You have to go to Lancaster. I believe there's two stores in Lancaster. I still have not gotten there yet. So we didn't do any cross-stitch shopping, but we did shop for fabric. And uh, we stayed at La Quinta Hotel in Bronx, Pennsylvania, R-O-N-K-S. It's about two miles away from Bird in Hand, mile and a half away. And we stayed there because I took the puppies with me, and La Quinta allows dogs. So they charge you just a set $20 fee, not $20 per dog like some hotels do. It's $20 set fee. They gave us a beautiful room. I asked for a room in the back where I have access to walk them easily. And they gave us a lovely room. And... I, I really mean it was lovely because I've stayed in hotels that allow dogs and sometimes the room you get is not so nice. It smells like dogs and carpets ripped up or stained. This was a lovely room uh, right next to an exit door so I could walk them easily. Uh, the hotel was right next to an Amish farm so when I would walk them I'd be able to see them. Uh, they were plowing and I think haying and it was really really nice uh, my dogs are crated when they're in a room and they're crated at night when they sleep so uh, they're used to hotels and they're they're pretty well behaved and it just worked out really really well so we went to Good and Plenty restaurant for dinner and we just had a great day so the next day I said well we're gonna continue the sightseeing we're gonna drive up to Vermont which is another six and a half hours. And we're going to go to the fabric store where I bought this original quilt design. And then from Vermont, we stayed there a couple days. From Vermont, we drove back to New York. And then from New York, my sister flew out back to Michigan. So let me show you the haul of what we got while we were out and about. So when I was in Michigan, we went to Hobby Lobby. I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me, so I love going into Hobby Lobby. So um, I just went to their clearance section. I got this 18-count uh, linen. It's um, 
a metallic polyester, they're calling it by Zweigart, but it's got this nice little metallic design. I thought it would be great for Nora Corbett or uh, Mirabilia. And then uh, I love my dimension kits. They had this dimension kit on sale for $10. I had to buy it. It's called Spring Fairy. It's their dimension gold. And I'm working on one of these already, a winter one. So I thought this would be really nice to go with it. So that was really fun at Hobby Lobby. And after, oh, we tried to go to a Costa store in Michigan, but Michigan was still having their CDC guidelines with masks and things. And the Costa store was 45 minutes away from my sister. I called them to make sure they were open. I got a recording saying that they were only open by appointment. I left a message. No one ever called me back. So we did not get to go there. I was very disappointed. But um, that's all right. So when we left Michigan, we went to Pennsylvania to the Amish fabric stores. I'll show you what I got there. That's this. I got another quilt pattern by Morning Glory Designs. It's called Jeweled Windows. I just thought it was gorgeous. I'm not a big quilter, but I said I may have to do that for my little craft room here. It just, it looked easy. Hopefully it is easy. And it just looked really pretty. So I searched for the fabric. They didn't have all of it. They only had two pieces out of, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need eight different fabrics. So that was one. They had, this is the Peacock, and this is Northcott Bliss Collection. So I need the, uh, this is Oasis. I need the Oasis, I need the Reflections, and I need the Mirage of that Bliss Collection. So I'll have to search for those. And I need to get a rotary cutter. I bought that when I was there. So that was our shopping there. We went to Country Kettle Kitchen. We tried some homemade ice cream. Uh, we bought some things at the cheese and meat store there. Smoked bologna. It was incredible. So we had a good time there. We left there, drove to Vermont, went to two stores there in Chester, Vermont. One was, I think it's called Six Loose Ladies. It's the yarn store. It's right next to Country Treasures Quilt Store. And I've been in there before. I've bought a pattern in yarn there before. It's a beautiful store. So I just picked up a whole bunch of free patterns that they had. So when I need to find, to do something different, um, I have some patterns. This one is beautiful. I don't know if I'm capable of knitting that, but grab the pattern anyway. And when we were there, uh, in the back, a knitter had left some cross-stitch items that she wanted, asked the store to sell for her that she didn't want anymore. They had them in a basket. So we went through, and I just found a 14 Count Ada, which I will dye. Uh, coffee tea dye and Rick dye and some Fiddler cloth, which was I think these were three dollars a piece These are 12 by 18 size Fiddler cloth So I got those out of the basket. Um, I also bought this card for my little craft room Because I'm a sheep person and I just loved it. It said I am extraordinarily patient provided I get my own way in the end so I just thought it was so cute. I had to have that. So that was the yarn store. And then we went next door to Country Treasures, which is where I bought this quilt design. And uh, she's got beautiful fabric. And she does quilting. She's just starting to do quilting classes again. And just a really cute store. So in the back, where they have classes, she also has uh, bins of one-yard pieces that are cut. For sale and I bought two but I'm not going to show you them because I may make a bag for StitchCon for my small giveaway uh, hopefully 
and uh, so I'm not going to show you the fabric, but it's really cute. It's it was six dollars a yard, I think, in the sale bin. And then also in the sale bin, she had this uh, shamrock uh, table runner, and this is by Shabby Fabrics. And I said, oh, that's so cute. I need to do that. So I bought for the uh, top part for this this gold. I bought this uh, gray grunge because I want to do this in kind of a buffalo plaid theme. So that's the top. This is going to be the backing and it's also going to be uh, the stripes that go in here. And I am going to use some of, the, some of it for the uh, shamrocks. And so this is going to be these are her little fat quarters. This is going to be the shamrocks, blues, blacks, and I'm going to mix in some of this with it. And it'll be just a really cute, cute, uh, like buffalo plaid kind of coloring quilt runner. And it looks, uh, it looks fairly easy. You sew these. You sew a block of these two by two squares into a square. And then you put the applique design over it and you cut it out and then I'm just going to stitch it on to these panels. So it doesn't look, doesn't look that difficult, hopefully. Um, so that's what I bought there. Oh, I also bought uh, over here. I bought an extra piece of the Northcott um, Stonehenge fabric. This is the trim that's around the quilt design that we did, but I want to make a bag. I want to make a bag out of this. And it's uh, it's not easy to get this fabric now. You can find some of it. You can find the gradient, but it's hard to find this. And um, it's hard to find those panels again. So I said, she had some of it left. I said, let me just get it now while you have it. So that was that. And while we were there, we went to a Scottish store. We also went to a Scottish restaurant for lunch, which is the Scottish restaurants in Chester. It's called a McLomans, I think. It was really good. Uh, I had a Scotch egg, and my sister had haggis for the first time. And we had this little flight of beer tasting of Scottish beers. Uh, was really really nice and they do require masks to go in but once you see at the table no masks they have outdoor and indoor seating and so that was uh, that was really nice um, there was also a Scottish store uh, just south of uh, uh, Manchester Vermont we went to I can't remember the name of it but it's quite uh, quite a good size. We got a lot of Scottish teas and foods there, and really nice store to go in. Uh, can't remember the name. I think it was Rablin Raglan Castle or something. I'll, if I can look it up, I'll put it in for you. And that was it. We spent a couple of days in Vermont, and then we drove back to New York. So all in all, we I drove about 2,500 miles. Um, my sister drove through eight states, so that was fun. As we drove through every state, we counted them all off. So her little one-week vacation with me, she made it through eight states. So we did uh, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, um, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, back to New York. Uh, we had a great time. So that was that. Um, oh, the one finish that I have. When I was at her house, I took this little kit with me. So it would be something easy to stitch. This is uh, Mill Hill, Jim Shore, Percy Pig. And I was stitching that in the morning while she was getting whatever she needed to get done in the morning around the house. And I just finished it the other day when I got back. And it's so cute. There he is, Percy Pig, with all his beads. 
So, uh, really cute. Now there's two more in the set. There's Sophie Sheep and Clarissa Cow. And I decided I needed those, so I just ordered them from 123 Stitch. And then I have a frame that I'm going to put all three of them together in. So that was my one finish. And that's it. I'm looking forward to StitchCon. I'm actually driving from New York down to South Carolina, picking up sister number one, Rosemary. And then we are driving to Ohio for StitchCon. And we are very excited for that. And then uh, we'll drive back to South Carolina. And then from South Carolina, I'll drive back to New York. And that'll be most of my travel for a while, I think. So anyway, I'm looking forward to StitchCon and looking forward to meeting everybody at StitchCon. We're going to be weekend B. So uh, there'll be a lot more people that we did not get to meet in StitchCon uh, 2019. So this is going to be very exciting. And I can't wait, and I can't wait to go shopping. And I can't wait to see the brag table. And it's just going to be so much fun. So looking forward to seeing any of you out there that are going to be there. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the, the quilting. And I'll see you next time. Bye.